In this one, we are installing Android Studio in Arc Linux. Please do watch till the end. And if you find the video helpful, leave a like. And also, if you are new to the channel, then subscribe to the channel. We do a lot of things here. Make sure to check out all the videos that we have. Anyway, uh, the first method involves using yay or any or helper. Uh, you can also just do it manually. But I'll just go with yay dash s. Uh, in case you don't have yay installed, I have a video on it as well. Uh, the process is pretty straightforward. So if I do here and then do Android Studio, I should find a package called Android Studio. There you go. So if I hit enter, it will start downloading. Now while this downloads, uh, let me show you what you could do if you don't have EA installed. So what you can do is just make sure to have Git installed because if you are using Arch Linux, I can assume you do have it installed. In case you don't, just install it. It is in the, available in the default package manager. Just do git clone and then uh, this is the link. There you go. This is the package you need. Just hit enter and after it is downloaded, I'll just go to, just type in cd and the studio so basically the file that it created uh, studio and then i'll uh, just do uh, make pkg dash si so this is what you need so that should install so this is basically what ea does but it just makes the process a lot easier and less manual i would say so after this is done or no while this is happening uh, let me show you uh, in case if you face a few issues what you can do so if you don't have java installed so if you are planning on using it uh, in arc you have to do sudo pacman uh, dash s first up we have jdk dash open jdk so this is something that you need to install so let me show you there you go as you can see it will install the latest version as you can see it is in version 24 and you can actually install uh, specific versions as well we can actually search for stuff so you can do pacman uh, dash ss uh, open jdk so if you search for this as you can see there are different versions we have 8 21 17 11 so as you can see there are jre jre 8 11 so all of the versions are available and also you can get the manual installation uh, but i would think this is all you need then to set the java version all you have to do is just type in you know what i'll install uh, jdk why not but let me see yay okay so after this is done uh, let me see can i do both of them at once oh, apparently again so i'll do both of them at once and after this downloads we can move on to the next step i'll just see if this works it's a three gigabyte package so let's install it and there you go it should be installed now and if we search for android studio it should open up this method is really great because again it integrates the whole thing into your system so you don't have to manually configure anything and yeah, i don't understand any static data they already take way too much anyway we just have to set it up and the setup process is pretty normal i'll just go with standard and then hit next and as, as i said uh, with this method it does uh, go through everything so i can accept do i have even storage for android emulators and stuff I don't know, but sure. Let's hit next and then finish. Show details. So that's about it. Uh, that's how you download or install Android Studio in your system. Now, there is another method. What I'll do, I'll just minimize this while this is going. I'll show you the other way. And again, uh, to close window. Oh, also, I forgot to mention this. Uh, let me just clear this out. If I go with Java dash dash version, so it will tell us which version of Java is there. As you can see, it's using the Java 24. But if you do have multiple versions, you can actually change it. Do I have any other Java? I don't know if I do have any Java. Java version. So you can do sudo um, arch linux dash java set let's say is java 24 so java 24 open jdk so it just sets it so if you have like let's say 17 you can just type in 17 here and that will be set as the default java version so yeah I, there is like you no know, i didn't download it but again if you did have that uh, you would go with that but uh, where the heck is my little package manager there so how far along are you with the downloads there you go it is installing an emulator and so it, it i think it takes a lot of space uh, but sure 
uh, in case you want to go with another method now here's what you have to do uh, there's uh, literally in the website a version that allows you to download a version of Android Studio so if I go to there Android Studio and then just go to download now just go to this website I think the internet will die because it's downloading in Android Studio but there you go and then you can just download it here click on this and yeah obviously <laughs> Sign your soul away to the demons. <laughs> anyway, I just wait for it to come up and it should start downloading. And as you can see, I do have it downloaded just to show you to it to you guys. So let me open up my terminal and I'll just show you in the terminal how it looks. So if I do CD downloads, uh, and that's where everything downloads. And then if I do LS, uh, it will just show me what is available in the download folder as you can see there you go it has the tar folder and to extract it uh, all we, we can do is tar tar dash uh, xvf and then android studio there you go uh, is this correct there you go it is correct i think i just extracted the whole thing in the <laughs> download folder oh my god yeah i shouldn't have done that let me see if i have done that so if i go with dolphin uh, not this bro no there you go dolphin if i open this if i go to downloads ah, i didn't do it thank god so there you go our android studio is in here and if you go to the bin folder uh, you can see there is where is it my studio sh so this will basically run and a studio and let me just do ls again so you can do cd and the studio LS. okay now at this point you can see there is a text file so you can do there we go so you can see here it gives us a clear instruction of what we do and as i said to uh, start the application we need to do touch the studio and uh, do I need to give it permission? So if I do some bin and then do ls and then do dots. So it is green. So that means it can be executed, but I am already running it. So that's kind of counterintuitive. But this is where I said that this is less integrated with the system. Uh, again, if you do want to run it this way, you can do just dots. You know what? I'll just close this and it cancel. Close this. Okay. Let's close it. So it, as you can see, it does work. So if I do dot slash setup, uh, sorry, studio uh, dot sh, so it will just run again and the studio. So this does require a bit of manual configuration. You can use a system link and create a desktop environment. Like there is a lot you can do, but I would recommend you go with the first method. But if you do want to man configure manual, configure it manually, then I would say go with this one but i will show you how to configure it i'll just close it and as if both methods do work so we can clear this out and one method is kind of linking it so to link it we can do sudo ln dash s so dot slash studio dot sh and then we can do slash user slash local slash android dash studio now we can do this now what does this do now if we just do android studio it will run it now uh, you may wonder you may be wondering well i do have the manual way so as you can see it, uh, it did open i think two of them at once because both of them are linked to it but Again, if you went with this method, then that's how you do it. And just to run it from the terminal. And I think to run it with a desktop, you need to create a file in like uh, user local, I think, yeah, slash user local applications. I think it's something like that, but uh, yeah, I forget. Anyway, if you did find this video helpful or if it did help you install your uh, and the studio then do leave a like on the channel and subscribe to the channel we do a lot of things here uh, like when i installed every single desktop environment and it was it was a mess so make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye